Hey everybody, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's kind of just a montage of the last 14 days or so. I wanna try something a little bit different. I think after this video though, I'm gonna go back to the more chronological ordered videos, uh, but I wanna try something different this time. All right, so enjoy. <laughs> All right, we're back out up at the trailhead. Um, we are at Newfound Gap. I'm gonna get started. Meemaw and Peepaw gave me a ride back up. Hey, thanks Peepaw. Thanks, You're welcome, thanks Meemaw. You're welcome. <laughs> Got the camera out. Classic. <laughs> All right, there it is. Katahdin, Maine. 1,972 miles. Got a long way to go. Let's do it. There's Meemaw and Peepaw. Waiting to see me off down there. They gonna wait till I'm out of sight. They are the absolute best. Couldn't ask for better. Well, it must have rained like pouring piss out of a boot last night because the whole trail is flooded again. And I tell you what, it's like walking down dang old river. The first milestone today is Charlie's Bunyan. We've been here before and I'm excited to see it again. There it is, Charles Boonan. That right there is the actual Bunyan itself. You got great views. There is a side shot of the Boonan, Charlie's Bunyan, right there. Today we are passing some of arguably the most beautiful views in the Smoky Mountains, and this is one of them, completely covered up by fog. We have no good views today. This is kind of a highlight for me. Look at how old this forest is. It's just completely covered in moss, and I love that kind of stuff. That's the good stuff there. <laughs> Yesterday we were at over 6,000 feet and today we are at 1,300. So one like equals one prayer for my knees. The AT takes many forms. And this is how we are going to get underneath Interstate 40. Trail magic. Yes. All right, so how's this for small world? Just got some trail magic, and the guy doing the trail magic lives less than one minute away from me. I'm kind of mind blown by that. I mean, he lives less than one minute away from me. It's bizarre. So we're on top of this bald. That's where they communicate with aliens. No joke. So I was trying to make it to Max Patch. I'm two miles away. It's like 6.15 and this insane thunderstorm just came busting through here. I was setting up my tent in the most crazy lightning. I'm covered in mud. Look at this. That was insane. I know my camera's not doing it justice, but the whole forest floor is covered with white flowers, all of it. We are at the mighty Max Patch. There's rain all around us and moving straight at us. All the views are blocked by all this rain. Max Patch is beautiful. I am about to get soaked. Here comes the storm. I mean, yeah, this sucks. This weather has been an absolute roller coaster today. This sucks. I'm hiding under a rock right now because it's just been raining all day. All right, it's 7.38. I am in the middle of nowhere. Everything is flooded. It's been raining for so long. I decided to just get a shuttle into, uh, into Hot Springs. Uh, all the campsites I stopped at were flooded. Everything's wet. My mattress has popped. If the water gets through my bottom of my tent, then I am going to just get soaked in my sleeping bag. So I decided to just go ahead and go into town and I am waiting on a man named Wild Bill to come pick me up. Dude, my life is weird. In the middle of the woods, in the middle of a storm, drenched to the bone, waiting for a man named Wild Bill to come pick me up. I'm in hot springs, the sun is out. 
It is an awesome little town. Laundry's done, showers had, I'm dry, spirits are lifted, feeling better. Ran into some friends back there. Just an all around better day. Yesterday sucked. I'm gonna go see if I can find a milkshake somewhere. That's exactly what a ghost would say. I'm not buying it. So if you guys look here, you'll see that I have found where every single water moccasin in the world is born. A random dammed pond. And I don't know why it's dammed, but it is. And it is stagnant and smells like sulfur. If you had like actual like a uh, like food bait, you could attach a piece of like rotten wood to it as a floater. Yeah. All right, so we're we're fishing. We got a uh, we got beef jerky on a beer hook. Look at that hook though. Oh, that is yeah, a buddy. legit Woo! hook. And then you got a uh, piece of rotten wood for a uh, floater. This is it, man. All right, I'm here with Miles. We just made it up to the Ridge Mountain Fire Tower Woo! and the views are sick. Check it out. thinking to myself, hey, this would be a really great place for a snake to get warm. Oh, hey snake. What are you doing, bud? Just like that. Look how good he blends in too. Woo! This is crazy. <laughs> we did it. Miles. All right, let's do another hundred. Yeah! All right, I just got the big bald, and this has got to be the biggest struggle climb yet. I really struggled getting up here. I think it's because of the lack of food. I'm running low on food. I got to get to Irwin in the next day or two. It's starting to get real dangerous out here really fast. The wind has really picked up. These violent storms are moving in, and I have got to get off this mountain and get down into Irwin. It is getting really sketchy with the wind in these trees. I mean, any of these trees could fall at any second. 